This summer, big name artists are making stops in Bend to perform at the Hayden Homes Amphitheater, but local music lovers have noticed a hike in ticket prices. Curly Keenan looked into how prices are set and what people are doing instead. In 2021, the former Les Schwab Amphitheater partnered with Live Nation, the largest concert promoter in the country and parent company to Ticketmaster. The name was changed to Hayden Homes Amphitheater, which now holds up to 8,000 people. Since partnering with Live Nation, bigger named artists have performed at the amphitheater, but people have noticed a hike in prices. I'm not gonna spend over $100 for us per person to watch music when I can go see them other places for less money. Amanda Wold used to be a regular at concerts in Bend, but this summer she's staying away from Hayden Homes Amphitheater. Our Facebook post shows more than 170 others share her criticism of prices. A Madras woman says it was cheaper to fly to Arizona to see Chris Stapleton, along with Little Big Town and George Strait, than to see Stapleton solo in Bend. It is another way I feel like they are separating the haves and the have-nots, the, the working class from, you know, upper class. I've been going to see some of these bands, you know, every year for decades. And this year I'm like, okay, if I can get the $25 tickets that they're allowing so many people to get, great, I'll go. At this point, it's not worth it to us. As for why the tickets for Stapleton and other artists are in the $300 and $400 range, there is no easy answer. When we asked the marketing representative at Hayden Homes Amphitheater, he declined to be interviewed. He did send a response saying, the average GA ticket price over the past two years has been pretty flat and is actually down a bit this season from last. We asked for data, but didn't hear back. We were also directed to a Live Nation representative who referred us to the Ticketmaster website. It says the artist sets face value ticket prices and often keeps 100% of the profit. Live Nation's website says tickets sold on Live Nation are owned by its clients who determine the number of tickets sold and set the face value price. James Taylor went to $900 a ticket, you know, for second row, you know, middle seats. So they're kind of, you know, like, well, yeah, can we get a table? You know, we'll just, we don't need to be there. We can listen just as well here. A seat at Greg's Grill across from the amphitheater has become a hot commodity. Restaurant management created a reservation system for the patio when big name artists perform with a $400 food and drink minimum for four people. Chris Stapleton tickets were $400 a piece. So $400 to sit outside, have a server serving your cocktails, serving your food, not getting beat up with 8,000 people all around you. It's worth it. We wanted to compare prices with another venue. The Lumineers are playing at Hayden Homes Amphitheater and The Gorge in September. A standard GA ticket on the lawn at the Hayden Homes Amphitheater is $184.99 with fees. A decent seat with a chair is $483.50 with fees. For the same show at the Gorge Amphitheater, a standard GA ticket on the lawn is $96.85 with fees. A seat in the orchestra section is $118.28 with fees. The Gorge is a bigger venue and is also operated by Live Nation. We've been out to the Hayden Homes Amphitheater plenty of times. We live in Portland. We come out all the time. There's amazing concerts here. I think it's ridiculous. $70 after, after you know, all the fees and everything for a ticket. For the decent seat at the Lumineers show, there's a $73 service fee and a $5 order process fee. You can avoid the fee entirely by buying in person at the ticket mill. It takes some of the joy out of going to the show. I don't know, it's just frustrating. As, I mean, I go to tons of shows, and I have for a long time, so I've really seen the increase really the last like year or two. In addition to ticket prices, the added seating and new regulations at the amphitheater have made some music fans rethink buying tickets. It's a change in how you experience the venue. And I think that combined with the ticket prices has most of us going, hey, you know what? It's a great new sound system. It sounds better in my yard than it does in the venue. Carly Keenan, News Channel 21. The Department of Justice began investigating Live Nation last November. The antitrust investigation came after a lawsuit from Taylor Swift fans and claims of monopoly-like behavior. Since then, a handful of bills were introduced in Congress targeting the company's widely criticized ticketing practices. 
tonight. We want to know, has the price of tickets changed your concert plans this year? To weigh in, head over to our web poll on the KTVZ.com homepage.